Hey, welcome to the show. Take a look at this. We got a division problem, 7,335 divided by 15. This is a special request from one of my subscribers, Paradise of Education. So kind of, kind of a cool title there. Um, so they requested this problem and we're gonna do it right now. All right, so first of all, um, I think off to the side, I might do a little bit of figuring right here. So I might go ahead and do 15 times three. So 15 times three, would, five times three would be 15. Carry the one and three times one is three, plus the one is 45. And let's go ahead and do a couple more here. 15 times four. So five times four is 20. Carry the two and then four times one is four plus the two, which would be 60 or six and then 60. And let's do one more at 15 times five. So five times five is 25. Carry the two and then five, six, seven. So we have 75. As you can see, 75 is too big, goes over 73. So we're gonna use 15 times four. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the four right here. Let me move this to the side here once. And yeah, thank you very much for your comments. I'm always reading the comments um, from my subscribers and um, maybe it'll be one of you uh, uh, next that I'll put a problem on the show here. So again, um, how many times can I put 15 into 73? Four times, so I'm gonna put four right here. So four times 15 equals 60. So let's go ahead and put 60 right here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and subtract. So three minus zero is three. And then seven minus six equals one. And even though that's a big number, that's a double digit number, it's not bigger than 15. So you're okay now. So the next step is to drop the next number down, which would be three. And now I'm gonna to try to figure out how many times can I put 15 into 133. 133 divided by 15. So I'm gonna look, hmm, maybe we'll go with, let's try seven here. So if 15, times seven, so five times seven would be 35. Carry the three up here, then seven, eight, nine, 10. So we have an 105. Let's try a little bit bigger, 15 times eight. So eight times five is 40. Carry the four up here, then eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So let's try just one more. I wanna show you what 15 times nine equals, 15, times nine, so nine times five is 45. Carry the four and then nine plus the four would be 100, 13, 135. That's too big. And as you do problems like this, you're gonna have to have a paper on the side and do a lot of figuring and it's fun. Make it like a puzzle, make it like a game. So let's stay with eight, 15 times eight. So we're gonna put eight right here. So eight times 15 is 120. So let's go ahead and put 120 right here, subtract, and now three minus zero is three, and three minus two is one. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this problem a little bit smaller. That's the nice thing about a whiteboard is I can change the size of my problems here. Let's put that over here. And now I have 13, and now I'm gonna drop the next number down, which is a five. Right here, I'm gonna drop this all the way down here. Now, do I have a number that can fit into 135? How many times can I put 15 into 135? Right here, nine. Nine times 15 equals 135. So let's go ahead and put nine right here. So nine times 15 is 135. We subtract and we have a remainder of zero. So that was a fun pro, uh, problem right there. And thank you very much. I was thinking maybe I'll have a remainder, um, but no, there's no remainder. So this is a fun problem. Um, if you like to, if you haven't done it yet, try this on a piece of paper. You know, this is a great practice problem. So, um, hey, thanks for, so much for joining our show today. I sure appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button and also the likey button on this. We also have another channel called Dino Math. If you take a look right up there, uh, you'll see a link to Dino Math. We do mathematics and we play with dinosaurs there and just having a lot of fun. So I hope you're gonna have a fun day too. And we'll talk to you later. Adios, goodbye.